Don't show any fear. Don't split any infinitives. Don't dangle your participles. At least not in public. Look, if I understood what you guys were saying, I'd still be a virgin. I've been here all weekend, and this is the first conversation I've had. Oh. And Tom, you should know that uh, nobody made me a name tag. You know what we say about that here? Hello. <laughs> Hi, Tom. No, I, I mean the motto of the weekend. H-E-L-L-O. -L -L Lop off the last letter you got what this weekend really is. Stands for help. There's somebody else down there. Yeah, Kenny Loggins. He was passed out. No, 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 no. He wasn't passed out. And and I sensed that he saw everything, and someone killed him because of it. And that someone wasn't you. It wasn't you, was it? Dude, I'm just saying. He's the one who disappeared from the car. This is a huge. Oh well, this I never thought I'd see. Wow, Dad. Tell me you're wearing that shirt because someone has to spot you from space. Very funny, Sean. This happens to be one of my lucky track shirts. I like it. I'd like it, too, if I had to walk home in the dark. Henry! Let me tell you, I like the two, three, four trifecta box. I think your shirt and his shirt should get together and go bowling. You gotta study the horses, you gotta study the jockeys, something that takes patience and follow through, which you lack. Yes, that and a shirt from Mr. Furley's closet. Oh, Gus, you're listed as a recipient here. Do you remember getting this email? Yeah, I got it and I immediately proceeded to place it into the trash bin. That's cold, B. Yo, that's like Beyonce and the first Destiny's Child cold. You're dead. And it's too late. Oh, my God, the shirt has a brother. Very funny, Sean. Broaden your vision, Sean. You need to look at the outskirts of the case. What does that even mean? Broaden my vision? Look at the outskirts of a You know what? I'm out of here. No, 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 not today. You sound like Oprah. I don't even know why I bother coming here. It's a complete waste of time. A little girl outside just started crying when she saw this shirt. What if Gus's dad is guilty? Huh? Are you out of your mind? How could you even say that? Right there, that's what I mean, right there, Sean. You've already made your decision irrespective of the facts. You have already compromised this case. Compromised? Why? Because I'm not afraid of my own emotional attachment? I'll have you know that I view that as a tool in my problem solving, not a liability. It is that exact kind of lame ass thinking. I can see why you were never a detective. And I can see why you ended up a divorce detective. Guns. Not even nice ones at that. The Lexan glass case that houses it is worth more. Lexan glass? Yeah, it's bulletproof. Well, it'd have to be in case the guns decide to fire themselves. Lexan glass. What? That's common knowledge, Sean. People know that. Who? People in Charlton Heston's house? Yes. And your mama. Why now you guys gotta hurry? Next one is coming up fast. That'll kill me if he finds out I let you back in here. Don't worry, Lewis. We'll be as non-existent as an Aldo Nova fan. Why didn't that work for me? Because you're a dumbass, John. Did you call Do you understand? Yes. Go Good. Yourself. My dad's a dick. You're a dick. My dad's a dick. No, you're a dick for taking me out there, you dick. My dad's a big dick. My dick is bigger. You have a big dick. My dad is... Question? What do you think, dumbass? You stupid dumb <laughs> Well, we're on a case and you're on it with us. Not tonight, I'm not. On a date. With a person? Who's with a person? Blonde, yellow dress. We met at the Santa Barbara Bowl at the Ravi Shankar concert last week and she asked me out on a date. Who goes to someone else's reunion when they barely even know them? We goes to a Ravi Shankar concert. Oh. My punch, Corey. Yeah, where's her punch, Corey? Hello, Mindy. You look nice. Oh, give it up, Button Up. I already have a date to this thing. Mindy, it's official. You've won bitchiest banana. What's going on here? Just having a conversation with your delightful sister. Really? Oh, let me get that for you. Get that for you. I know exactly what that means. Sean, what is the sentence for assaulting a police officer? Oh, it's OK, buddy. <laughs> Sorry, I guess he's a little overprotective of his older sister. What's the deal with you and people's sisters anyway? First Vic and now mine. And aren't you still married? Stand down, Guster. We are simply having a conversation. Jeez. You snow white. Lassie, I think. Yeah, go tell him I got up in there. I mean, what are you, you talking, talking about? about? You never told us that. What? what the f***s, dude? Well, at least put on the strap. Relax. Give me the binoculars. Give me the binoculars. At least put the strap on. Crosley! 
just fed up the guy who was banging his wife. Pierre Despero! Over, Hazel. You had an affair with Professor Stein. You let him get all up under that cingulum. And then you... I thought you might. Unfortunately, it has nothing to do with Mr. Clayton and everything to do with you. You've been seeing a tennis instructor every week for the last year, but you haven't been playing tennis, though you have been playing with balls. I see a very compromising image. I don't know what you mean. Ew. You know the Clayton's philandering ways better than anyone, seeing as how you were, in fact, Signor Clayton's mistress. What? Oh, yes. That's why you pray to Saint Dwinwin, the patron saint of dirty, filthy lovers in the nighttime. Who is this man? Make me make him. Giving away my Porsche, making me get a job, selling my tiger. Oh, sorry. and I hated you both. You blame everybody for your pathetic life. This family is crazy as hell. Ease you down, and I'll be right behind you. You must be out of your damn mind, Sean. I'm not going down there first. Are you kidding me? You're gonna do this to me now after I've laid all the groundwork? Now, will you just get down there? Wish I had one of them when you were a kid. Ah, uh, don't beat yourself up, Pop. Sure, most of my good traits come from Mom. Birds. Thornburg is an extremely rare virus that usually targets people in Africa, which makes it racist, by the way. Let me get this straight. You hit the town, you got sloppy drunk, passed out, woke up without a virus? Is <laughs> it usually the other way around? Every day, isn't he amazing? You're amazing. Will you press that record button and whatnot? He used to run hurdles in high school until he strained his groin. You know, Gus here doesn't have a groin. That's a true story. Oh. Lulu! No. What did I just say, Sean? I don't know. Something about waxing Lisa Gibbons? I don't know. Looks like nobody's here. Should we knock or...? Okay. That's how I knock. All right, scale of one to ten, how much did that hurt? If you want out, just say the word now. I'm in, Sean. I'm obviously in. Let's do this. What's the spirit? I'm out! I'm so out! Shot, shot! Take the shot! I don't have it! Get it! Shoot that mother... Gus, ten times. What? Tell her to shoot me. Tell her to shoot me all ten times. Shoot me, bitch! Star in the Class C Municipal Santa Barbara Co-ed Softball League, you son of a bitch! That's it! You're out of here! You can't toss me! The game is over! In Santa Barbara right now. How am I doing so far? Jared Carp's a low-level player. We don't give a damn about him. Well, I don't give a damn about your soft, peachy, Anthony Michael Hallish face. Take a breath. What is the point of his face? Let the man go through, let the man go through.